down here. Like, you know, this giant statue. Alright, there's a statue. Let's go back to our ship. See if we can figure anything the out. Statue reaches toward the bottom drops out from Hey Elmira. I've got four fighters, mages, archers, all willing to fight by your side if the price is You always bring me to such wonderfully destructive places. I'll never find somewhere quiet to settle down at this rate. Here you My go. Dear. Why? I can't remember the last time someone's helped me like this. Perhaps even never. When the final hour comes, I will stand by your side. I really? Promise. Can I trade with you? Holy crap, hello. I have enough money. There we go. Have some stuff. Okay, I may actually look After this up. All, I am soon to be a free woman. I can choose to fight for whomever I wish now. I kind of want to know what happens to both. I'm, I'm going to keep my decision to go with Elmira, I think. Unless something crazy. Ah. What the heck just happened? Oh, I wanted to see whatever she did. Nope. Nope. Kinda cool. That could be good too. I'm gonna chance the hat. As goofy as it looks. Snugs. <laughs> That's funny. It's actually kind of good. The wits. Yeah. You can wear some snugs. All right, I lose a wits and one intelligence, but it's freaking. Yeah, he's got a top hat finally. He looks so dumpy. I love it. <laughs> You're lucky that I enjoy a bumpy ride, my dear. Our arrival. You always bring me to such wonderfully destructive. All right. She's nicer to me. I would have preferred a more discreet arrival in Arx myself. I am still a fugitive after all. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the vault. Okay, um Go to his gardens. Now I'm gonna I'm curious to know. Uh to know what's what would the difference be between the two so I'm gonna look it up real quick I'm gonna keep it Elmira just because I don't want to be too annoying spoily by you looking up stuff <laughs> this person's answered the best answer to every dilemma in DOS 2 is kill them both all right avoiding spoilers Um, oh, apparently if you have, uh, Red Prince in your skill, spoilers, Red Prince in your party, when the first time you meet Wendigo, you kill kill her. Um... Whoa.
Ah. <gasps> Hold on. I was going to try this before and I just spaced it. You can buy from Elmira, so I gave it to her. Can I buy it back? The statue reaches the bottom drops. Can I buy it back? I'm going to find out. You always just... bring me to such wonderfully destructive places. I'll never find somewhere quiet to settle down at this rate. Well, this is going to be a pain to find, isn't it? It was a... No! Please pick. <laughs> All right, I don't see it. I'm gonna just go through these just in case I'm just blind. plate whoa yeah can't buy it back from her but that's a bummer I don't I didn't see what it said online either no one ever answered okay Bummer, I was hoping to be able to buy it. Oh yeah, we were going to look for the little girl, too. She's gone now. Hmm. That's a bummer. Alright. Sorry, Wendigo. Elmira more because she actually stood true to what she said she'd do. Wendigo is kind of a tree. Get the hippo head. Oh, I stretch it. Hi, hippo. Hey, who are you? All right, Arhu, finally here to help you. The man before you writhes in pain, oblivious to you. Otherworldly shackles are coiled all around him. The man raises his head with an anguished groan. <laughs> Yuri with the five minutes. Mama's doing that. You want to the camera some loves? You showing the camera some loves and you get some bitties? You want some bitties? Give me five. Give me five. Go on, mama. Say thank you, Yuri, for the bitties. What about you, Jerry? You want a kiss? Thank you for kisses. Thank you, Yuri, for the bitties. <laughs> Appreciate it, man. Welcome, welcome. Er, welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. There it is. Freaking Elvis over here. Thank you. Thank you very much. Why this is being done to him? Uh, I'm just gonna offer to help him. There is him. nothing you can do. Save yourself. Why is this being done to you? Because, uh, because I refuse to talk. I will not talk. Right. I am. I am Ahu. There's got to be a way to free you. I am bound by powerful magic. 
try to free me and oh no that would suck and it will likely kill me he coughs up a gout of blood I'm gonna call him out I thought you could escape any before situation. he can respond to your criticism his eyes roll back oh shit he passes out from the pain I made a bad the man doesn't respond to you. He sent. Fuck. How do I save Arhu? Lord Arhu. I can't cast source on anything. I mean, okay, so there's a source thing here that always means there's something I can use source with. I need to rain blood on that and that that would suck because I don't have that skill hmm. can't interact with that Okay, um, I don't have the book, do I? Teach it to someone. Sounds cool. Modified by three source points, all primary attributes increased by five. Man! Losa, you have some nasty ass abilities. This would be great for you, but you don't have polymorph five. Wind-up toy. Throw a mechanical bomber at the target point. The bomber can explode, dealing fire. <laughs> That's hilarious. Control Void Vulcan. Oh, snap! We're learning that. Yes, please. I don't remember getting that. Uh, where to fortify? Fuck yeah, dude, that's awesome. What is this? Oh, that's cool. Oh, we taught him that, duh. Duh. Okay. I don't have it. Bloodstorm, that might be it. Gross. Requires Hydra Fist, requires Necromancer. Holy cow. I could teach that to Losa right now. Wait, what? Oh, she's only Necromancer. She doesn't have Necromancer? I thought I put points into her. Apparently not. God damn it. Okay. Um, how do I do this? Googling it. How to free him.
Wait, what? I haven't got that far. All right, I found him. Oh, what? Oh, okay. I probably would not have figured this out. You spirit vision. Yep, there's ghosts hold ghosts. holding him. Okay. And they're tearing his soul apart. Ouch. The spirit ignores you. Focused as it is on tearing the source from its captive. It stinks of dark magic. Delve into its memories. There's nothing in the spirit but pain. Its own and that of its captive. He resists the agony, but it's only a matter of time before the spirits tear his source away. The pain begins to hurt you too. I'm gonna eat his the source. spirit seizes the pain you inflict upon it and turns it back on you. The pain you share nears unbearable levels, and the spirit begins to smile. This is the pinnacle oh, of its existence. And then it exists no more. The pain it gave you ebbs away. I told you to leave. You're going to kill me. I have to try and save you. You can't. He shudders as fresh waves of pain course through him. Leave. Or you still have a chance. And don't touch the... He passes out mid-sentence from the pain. Alright, he doesn't want me to touch something. The dark stench assails you. The spirit concentrates on tearing the source from its captive. The spirit seizes the pain you inflict. And then it exists... Gimme... Mine. Stop! Please, stop! The pain! It's too much! His face goes slack as the pain renders him senseless. The man is me? oblivious to... Okay, so he doesn't know I'm hurting him. The dark stench... The spirit seizes the pain you inflict upon... And then it exists... All right, do I have to heal him right away? It does hurt him. I, Check it out. I can't fight. Oh, I'm holy snap. Weak. Please. Uh. Who are these guys? Where's Arhu? Where's Arhu? Oh, you're right there. Okay. I'm gonna put some protection up. Actually, wait. My heals heal for people too, right? Yeah, dude. That should be a big heal. Uh, I'm gonna do this. Just to buff it up a little bit more. That uses all my skills, damn it. All right, well, I'm gonna heal him. Yeah, buddy, get healed. Why are you? Oh, I shit. Didn't know you had so many oh, shit, there's a lot of people. Oh, this Come is not in. good. Come in. I'm sure you have so many questions for me, but they can wait. What level are you? First, Fuck. I'd like to introduce you to an old friend. Windigo appears in a flash. Oh, I was going to say if it's Windigo. And broken. Her bones are the color of old ash, and her teeth crooked and yellowed. I found her snooping around my estate, and I don't like it when people touch my things. Windigo's shattered form recoils as Kem raises his hand. Kem pretends not to hear you. He looms over Windigo, a behemoth in contrast to her pathetic frame. I'd rather spend an eternity floating in void to one spent in bondage. Send me to the king. Kind of a bad for not giving her this one breaker now. As you wish. Now then, 